Hi and welcome. My name is Zin Cha and I'm a senior user success engineer with Edge Impulse. Our mission is to help people deploy embedded machine learning applications everywhere using tiny, low-cost, low-power cameras like this Arduino Portenta H7 with Vision Shield that you see here. We provide a one-stop shop embedded machine learning platform that's easy to use and offers a great end-to-end -end user experience. I'll be walking you through how to build a digits recognition system using Edge Impulse and the Arduino Portenta H7 Plus Vision Shield, which has applications in a number of different commercial areas. Now let's take a closer look. Digits recognition is just one vector of the low-power computer vision space, but has potential autonomous applications in grocery retail, price stable mismatch used by data inspection, manufacturing for product line inspection, quality control monitoring, utility metering, meter reading of smart meters and legacy meters, as well as administration for license plate detection and handwriting recognition. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to build a price label detection system using digits recognition and finally see it running locally on the Arduino Portenta H7 plus Vision Shield. The Arduino Portenta H7 employs a dual-core Cortex-M architecture, where the computer vision model can run on the more capable Cortex-M7 core, while the Cortex-M4 core could be used to handle sensor fusion and provide the necessary triggers to activate the computer vision model when needed. To acquire data for training and testing, we provide many easy-to-use and secure ways to ingest data into Edge Impulse. Whether it's directly acquired from the embedded target, your smartphone, or from established sources such as your computer or cloud bitbuckets. The next step is to create the embedded machine learning model, which we call the impulse design. The first step is to generate an impulse, which applies signal processing and machine learning blocks to your training dataset and prepares it for feature extraction. Secondly, for image classification, specify whether color depth should be RGB or grayscale, then go to the Generate Features tab to generate the features for your model to be trained on. At the end of this process, a 3D visual representation of your features will be displayed to help you analyze whether or not your machine learning model will be set up well for the neural network classifier in the next step. Last but not least, we can train our embedded computer vision model using transfer learning, for which by default we use MobileNet v2. Those that are intimately familiar with Keras can edit the Python code directly to manipulate the neural network architecture. After the training is complete, analysis regarding the model's performance will be provided on the right-hand side, such as model accuracy, the confusion matrix, and on-device statistics such as inferencing speed and flash RAM utilization. Validating your embedded machine learning model to see how it performs is just a click away via the live classification and model testing tabs using data that you previously imported into your test data set. Deploying machine learning applications is an iterative process and therefore being able to track your experiments and deployments is extremely crucial. Edge Impulse provides this capability with the versioning tab so you never have to worry about losing your work ever again. Once you're happy with the performance of the model, with the click of a button, you can use the Deployment tab to create an appropriate library ready for inclusion into your embedded project, or create a binary file that can be easily deployed to your embedded target. And now it's time to see the demo in action.
Thanks for your time today to watch our demonstration. For more details on this and other low-power computer vision applications, please visit us at edgeimpulse.com. I'm happy now to take your questions in our Q&A segment.